Mike, firstly, welcome to Australia. Thank Can you, you just outline the broad future for General Motors in Australia? Well, one, one of the things that we talked about today during this session was that uh, we like to design, build and sell the world's best vehicles. We will continue to do that here in Australia. Uh, we have a great team here in Adelaide in South Australia. Uh, my job will be trying to figure out what this place looks like 10 years from now. So there's quite a bit of investment beyond the localization of the cruise product that we will be doing next year uh, that we have to do to set this place up for success for the next decade or so. But uh, very excited to be here uh, and think that we have a great future ahead of us. We have two wonderful products that we'll be making here, Cruise and Commodore in South, in South Australia. And then looking out 10 years from now, what are those things that uh, Holden needs to continue to be Australia's car company? And that's really what my job is, to try to figure out what those things are. On to specifics, you mentioned the cruise, the yes. four-cylinder car, um, scheduled for launch sometime next year. Yep. Uh, can you give us more detail? Yeah, uh, to the extent that I can, yes. Uh, we will be launching uh, the cruise first quarter next year, probably February, March time frame. Uh, we did 2,500 cruises last month here with our imported product. So it's the number five selling car in Australia, Commodore, number one selling once again in May, which we're very proud of. Uh, but it's also possible that the cruise could become Australia's number one selling car someday, and that would be okay with us too. So incredibly important car for us, and it all kicks off uh, early next year. The possibility of a second shift uh, coming back at Holden, mm -hmm. um, any idea of when that may be? Well, obviously, when, when, we, when we get to talking about that, we'll be talking to our workforce first, but uh, it's highly likely that we'll need to do that sometime around the launch of the cruise. And Mike Everett, you've been here for 50 days. Have yes. You worked, have you worked out which AFL team you barrack for? You know, uh, I'm going to wait till my sons get here. I've, I've been I've been to uh, a number of different, uh, I've seen a number of different games on television, only been to one. Uh, one thing I can't understand is why everybody loves to hate Collingwood. So my predecessor, <laughs> Alan Beatty, was a big Collingwood fan, um, but he told me before I choose... Look before you leap was his last words to me. Right, Deborah, thank you. Thank you.